Now, if you've been pulling your hair out trying to figure out what health plan to sign up for, you're likely not alone. The process can be really confusing. Yeah, and that being said, there are some steps you can take to make that process a little bit easier. 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie is live to uh, break down what you need to know for signing up for your 2020 health care benefits. Ali, what's new this year? What are the changes? Well, the big changes this year, according to the healthcare expert that I spoke to, is that there are now more plans available, more options, which is a good thing. The bad news here is that the cost of health care is rising, and it's not always rising along so alongside wage increases. My mom had a $13,000 bill from the hospital one time that they didn't cover. So she had to cover it and she was on fixed income. Running into an issue like this one is something we all want to avoid. Justin Hadley is the director of employee benefits at Gallagher. He says employers are starting to steer away from high deductibles paired with a health savings account. The employers are offering plans that have lower deductibles, lower co-pays, but it may, it may cost employees more out of pocket from a paycheck perspective to participate. For those still taking advantage of an HSA in 2020, the max for an individual plan will be $3,550. For a family plan, it will be $7,100. For a flexible spending account, it will be $2,750. Only $50 increased from last year. Remember, if you have an FSA, you must spend it all before the end of the year. Hadley says when picking an option for health care to keep in mind what might be coming down the road in 2020. If you have known prescription drugs you're going to be taking or you have uh, upcoming surgeries or anything that you can plan for in 2020, that will be part of the driver in terms of what plans you choose. That stands true not only for you, but what will be happening medically for your spouse and children on the same health care plan. Also take advantage of online tools through your health care provider. Hadley says many companies let you shop the costs of surgeries and prescriptions online, allowing you to apply the coverage to determine the cost. I think that's going to continue to actually be a positive for employees and individuals going forward. There's going to be more data and more um, information available for them to purchase uh, health care. Now, Ali, if people have questions about their health care plans for 2020, where should they turn? Well, make sure you go to Human Resources. They're going to have a lot of answers for you there. You can also go ahead and go to these open enrollment meetings. Those are really important. They're going to answer a lot of questions for you. All right, Allie Hoxie uh, helping to break down the 2020 healthcare enrollment elections for us. Appreciate it, Allie.